Hello and welcome to another video tutorial for driverguide.com. Today I'm going to be talking some more about the various types of files that you can download when searching for drivers on driverguide.com. I'm going to be talking about two specific types of files, a zip file and a RAR or a .rar file. Now what these two types of files have in common is that they're both compressed archive files. What that means is they are a collection of either one or more files all compressed into one single file. I have here a, uh, a download page on driverguide.com for an HP audio device <clears throat> and as you can see here the file the file name itself is drivers.zip or .zip so this is a zip file that, that I'm going to be downloading. Okay now that the file has downloaded let's go ahead and go to the folder where it was downloaded and here it is drivers.zip now the nice thing about running Windows 7 or later is that Windows actually has built into it the capability to extract these compressed zip files now if you were running an operating system older than Windows 7 for example if you had XP or anything before that even uh, you would have to find a extraction a file extraction utility that you could use for example WinZip <clears throat> is a very common uh, commercial product out there and there's also some other free ones which uh, I will get to in just a moment but I'm running Windows 7 so I have the ability to right click on this zip file and say extract all <clears throat> and then here it's going to ask me where do you want to extract the contents of this zip file to and right now it's pointed at this uh, folder here and I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it as is and say extract okay and there you'll see now a new folder has been created called drivers which is the extracted contents of this zip file so and so that's how a zip file works now what if I wanted to download a RAR file let me go to my other tab here and you can see that I'm on a download page for a Realtek audio device. The file name has the .rar extension. Now a RAR file is also a compressed folder or file. Now I've downloaded the RAR file so let's go ahead and go to the folder where it was downloaded <coughs> and here it is. Now Windows 7 <coughs> does not have the capability to uh, to open these types or extract these types of files. So what I'm going to need is a different utility. One of the more common ones that's used out there that's actually a free download is called 7-zip. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, do a quick Google search for 7-zip and there it is. <coughs> okay, and I'm going to... My download is finished. So I'm going to click on the file, which happens to be an executable installation file. Okay. Very small program, so just like that it has installed. I'm going to go ahead and open up the 7-zip software. Okay. Now here is the file that I want to extract. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that file click on the extract button and it's going to ask me where do I want to extract the uh, contents of this file to. So I'm going to go ahead and create another folder here called extracted. Everything else I can leave the same and I'm going to click OK and now if I go back to my folder you'll see here's my extracted folder that I just created and inside of that folder, if I can click it, and as you can see there are several files in here. All was contained within that one file that I downloaded and I was able to use the 7-zip software to extract the contents. And that is how you can use that is how you can use zip files and RAR files to download off the internet and extract those to be able to install drivers from those types of files. 